Background videos are a fantastic way to add even more life to your site. But the problem is it's not as easy to achieve this in Framer as you think. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can add a background video. And guess what? It's actually pretty straightforward once you know how you can actually achieve this. So let's go. Okay, so I have this project set up and it's pretty basic. I've got some nice text here on this hero section with a background image contained to this content frame here. But what I wanna do is actually replace this image with a video to give it a little bit more life. So the first thing I'm gonna do is head to insert and I'm going to search for video. Then I'm gonna drag that onto my canvas. Now, what we're gonna do is go down to the right hand side and we're gonna look for video component. And this is essentially where we can add our video and tweak all the settings that we need to. So first things first, I'm going to upload a video. Okay, so once your video has uploaded, you'll get this success message. Now, there is a file limit. Uh, I just tried to upload a video file that was 70 megabytes and it wouldn't let me. Uh, so just general rule of thumb anyway, when you're kind of uploading assets to a website, you probably wanna keep video specifically under 30 megabytes. So now that we have my video here, you'll see that uh, because it's set up as a component, I actually can't put things within it, which means I can't just like have this as a parent frame and then have children within it and then have all my content within this video. So to get around this, what I'm going to do is set the width to be 100% and the height to be 100%. So it's taking up 100% width and height of the frame that it's in. And now what I'm gonna do is change the positioning from relative to absolute. And this is essentially the secret to making this work. Uh, so again, the width and height has changed here because I've done this, so let's just change this back to 100%. And now you'll see it's taking up the full width and height of the frame that it's in. Now, obviously this is sitting above all my content. And if I move this below my layers, you'll see it will do absolutely nothing. Why is this? So essentially when we set something to absolute, it creates a Z index. So think of your Z index as like uh, the positioning and the way that layers are stacked on top of each other within the canvas. So say if we had two elements, one with a Z index of one and another with a Z index of two, the element with the Z index of two, because it's higher than one, it's going to appear on top of the Z index element that has one. So we see this a lot with like parallax effects and uh, objects on a site that have these overlapping elements where we want something to be on top of something else. We can actually use this Z index here to achieve this. So now that we've got this set up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this Z index to zero. And then if we go back to our content that's actually hiding still behind this, we can add a Z index to this. So all we need to go to is styles, click on plus, go Z index. And now by default, the Z index for everything is gonna be set to zero. So if we add this to be one, you'll see that it will automatically become higher than the rest. Now we could just quickly do this by grabbing the other element two, clicking on styles, going to Z index, and also making that one. And because I got my navigation bar is fixed already, the Z index is already set to one. So when I press play, you actually see that this is already looking a lot better. We've got this video working and it works essentially how I want it to do. Now, what I wanna mention is you've got some options to actually tweak this a little bit further. So in this video component here, uh, there's a bunch of different options. We can make it so the auto playing doesn't happen at all. So when I press play, nothing happens. Uh, I can actually show the controls or not. That's completely up to me. I, if it's got sound, I can make it mute or not. And if I do have audio, I can set the volume level. Uh, so there's a lot of sort of options here that we have, uh, but considering this is like a background image, all I kind of want to do is leave the video as it is. So in a nutshell, that's how you create a background video in Framer. Uh, again, like when it comes to the video options, just highly recommend just playing around and seeing what you can do. But for a background image, it's relatively simple to create. If you enjoy this video and you want more Framer tutorials like this, consider subscribing and also check out the Ultimate Framer course, which is my end-to-end -end masterclass on learning Framer so you can level up as a designer and become more valuable. They'll be in the description. But apart from that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See ya.